Hello everybody, this is Curtis from PSNStores.com and today we're taking a look at MOP, Operation Cleanup. This game came out on PS4 last week. Um, it's actually pretty cheap. I know on if you're a Plus member there was a sale and I got it for like $2. So it's not a very expensive game. Um, I didn't really know anything about it, but again, at $2 it was like, okay, what do I have to lose? Uh, might as well check it out. So I actually ended up finishing this. Or at least, uh, completing all the levels. I have not gone and, like, done a completionist run of it. Like, I haven't done every little thing you can do. Because, uh, basically each level, they, you have different requirements. So, uh, you know, mission one is just collect all the trash items. Mission two, you've got to kill all the enemies and also get all the items. And, and so on. So, uh, I'll be honest, I... I did not enjoy the game enough to want to go back and do all of these things. Uh, actually, once I finish the game, I, I feel like I'm done. I, I don't feel like I've enjoyed this enough to go back and try to do all the other stuff, but we'll get into that. So, you got five zones. Each zone has uh, ten different missions. So, we'll just start. Um, I mean, we'll start at mission one, at the very basics. So, this is a... it's. This is a kind of a, a cool concept, I guess, but it's maybe not level design wise and some of the controls are are pretty rough. So I am constantly moving. I cannot control the direction that this robot's moving. I can jump. I can double jump and then I can bounce off walls, basically. But I will always be moving uh, in one direction and it's the direction that I cannot control. Uh, later on, like basically for uh for the first big chunk of levels you're going to be moving left to right uh later on you do get to a point where um certain walls if you run into them it'll cause you to start moving in the other direction uh, and there are some levels that kind of wrap around on themselves like you'll go over to the right a fair distance and then you'll hit a wall we all start moving left, and then you can take like an upper uh, path or like a lower path, and it will kind of wrap around on itself. And then for enemies, most of them you're just bouncing on their head. Uh, so it starts pretty basic. About screw that up. Um, nothing too complicated. It does introduce some other mechanics. There is a, uh, the third area consists entirely of water, like, a water levels, which is just the worst. <laughs> um, water levels in general, and especially, like, side-scrolling games are not great. Um, and so in a game like this where you're constantly moving in one direction, and instead of jumping, you're, like, holding the X button down to move up and down, it's not, it does not control very well. <laughs> Uh, so you have these power-ups, like there's a magnet that just pulls everything towards you. There's a... Uh, power-ups that recharge your battery, which is your health meter. I've missed that. So here's the thing that really bothers me about this game, really, is basically something that's inherent to its design. It's that because you keep moving, um... A lot of these levels, you're gonna miss things, uh, especially in your first playthrough of that level. You're going to be missing these trash items. You're gonna be missing killing enemies and getting all of the objectives that you they were trying to get. Um, which is a bummer because you know, like it, it's the type of thing where imagine like you know seeing a collectible and then it passes right by because you don't realize you need to jump at that moment. And it's like, well, I can't do anything about it. I have to keep going. And that always kind of sucks. So here's the water area. So you, you can do square to do it and attack. And then you're just kind of... Hitting X to move up and down. Holding S to go up. Letting it go to move down. Uh, there was a... Kind of like spiked mines there. Uh, our instant death. We've got some enemies we can like kind of torpedo into. Uh, 
it just it's just the type of thing that after just even even just like after a handful of stages I did not feel the desire to actually try to get everything um see I'll try to go back to a, I don't want to have this video be too long I'll try to go back to an earlier level to see if I can show it off because it's very apparent in that level um it's somewhere in zone one Let's start at I think we did the first three missions, right? Yeah, so it's not this level. Might be mission five. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna see... I don't know how well this video will pick it up, but... Oh, yeah. So, I, again, I don't know if you're noticing this, but when he latches onto that wall right there, the game just full on like stops for about half a second. And so that does, oh God. <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time, but it definitely uh, is a thing that I've I experienced a handful of times so that, oh, throughout the game. And it's pretty rough. I, there's a lot of things about this, like, especially if you, uh, because again, because you're moving in one direction. So if you're, let's see if we can, if you're not jumping, you're going to be bouncing off this wall. And it, it can be it, it can be rough, especially like with the double jump, and it's not always super responsive. And so that's the things that really played into me not wanting to try to get everything in this. Hmm. That's... Oh, I don't know what causes that. Because it's, oh, it's always like if you're hitting like just the, the right, like the bottom of the wall. Oh, man. I... Ugh. And then sometimes, like, it doesn't, like, you try to double jump, but it doesn't quite register the double jump. It can be pretty annoying. It's one of those things where, um, I like games with collectibles and, like, things I can try to get everything in. But if, if it's a game that doesn't really have great controls and it makes it annoying to try to get those collectibles, then you you're already, like, lost on me, right? Like, I, I'm not going to battle with controls and like different annoyances just to try to get everything in your game i'm probably just going to put it up once i beat it so i mean this is this is basically this game I don't, I don't know how much else i need to really show of it it is very cheap so i don't feel like i lost i mean i again i spent like two bucks on it so it's not a huge deal there are five zones 10 levels in each zone it did not take very long to finish this is something you could probably beat in like an hour or two. It's not a very long game. There was a boss fight at the very end of Zone 5 that... I mean, it's kind of... It, it could be cool, but I think that just the way this game controls and the way that it plays out, like, doesn't... Does not do the boss fight any favors at all, so... That is, uh, unfortunately, maybe not the most positive... Uh, look at a game, but uh, this is what it is. Mop Operation Cleanup. It is out now on PS4. Again, I don't... Uh, this is going up almost a week after it's come out, so I'm, I imagine the plus sale is probably maybe still going on for another day or so. But even then, it, it's not too expensive. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend it, but if it looks interesting to you, um, you can always give it a shot and see what you think. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you later. If you like this or any of our other YouTube videos, subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to support what we do in general, be sure to hop on over to patreon.com slash psnstores. Your patronage helps keep our podcast 100% ad-free. Thanks for watching.